Hey, Trinity community, welcome to this family worship service. Thanks so much for joining us today. And may God bless our time together as we are gathered here around his word. Let's begin by calling upon the God who creates, saves, and keeps us in the faith, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We live in a world of uncertainty. We don't always know what's going to happen tomorrow. And the reason that this is an uncertain world is because it's been ruined by sin. But God doesn't leave us in the uncertainty of the world. He meets us where we are with his love. And he promises that when we come to him and confess our need for his forgiveness and the comfort that only he can bring, he will give it to us. So we're going to do that now with our God in two ways. We're going to do this first privately and then with each other. So let's take this time right now to go to him in a private way and bring him everything that is troubling us. We also have a chance to do this together as his people and confess our need for forgiveness. So pray this with me. God of love, it is your will that we should love you with all our heart, our soul, mind, and strength, and that we should love our neighbors as ourselves. We cannot do these things perfectly. We confess that we turn our love from you to other things and do not live as you call us to. So please have mercy on us. Order our lives by your word and help us to see the joy that is found in living by your commandments. For the sake of your son, Jesus, have mercy on us and forgive us. Amen. Our God is in control of all things, and here's how good he is. No matter how weak and small you feel, no matter how out of control and scared you are, no matter what it is that has gone wrong this week, no matter what mistakes you have made and what sins you have committed, whatever you have brought before him, his promise to you is this. He loves you. He chooses you to be his child, and he wants to be with you for all eternity. So in the place of his son, and by Christ's command, I want to tell you his message. All of your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Bible reading for today is from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. It says, but we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Now we have the opportunity to confess our Christian faith together. We're going to do that using the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. How well do you think you can see into the future? We're not very good at doing that, are we? I mean, we can try and figure out how something is going to go, but we don't know for sure how it will turn out, do we? You know, I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow any more than you do. Now, we can say it's going to rain, and what might happen? Well, it might be sunny. We can say we're going to go to a store and do something or buy something, and we may never even get there because we get a flat tire on the car on the way there. I can say that I'm definitely going to get a task at work finished. When I get to work, the building might be flooded with water when I show up. 
I can't finish what I plan to. We can make plans, but we can't always guarantee that they are going to happen, right? That's because we are not perfect. But God is perfect. And he knows what's going to happen in the future so much that he can make promises to us and perfectly keep them. Promises about the future. And that's what's happening in our Bible reading for today. God is encouraging his people with the promise that one day we all get to be with him. And because of that, we can live joyful and peaceful and hopeful lives today. If we get to live with him one day forever and ever, then he will get us through whatever we're facing today. And we know that God is great at seeing into the future and knowing how it will turn out because he's done it so many times before and he's told us that. For example, he said there would be a flood, and there was. He said he would deliver his people from Egypt and take them to the promised land, and he did. He said that he would send his son to pay for the sins of the world, and that's what happened. He said his son would rise again on Easter morning, and he did just that. And now here in our text, he's telling us what he is going to do for you and me on the day that we get to go be with him forever. It's his promise to you. And if God has promised something to you, you know it's going to happen because his promises always come true. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son to come to this world to make all of your promises come true. Thank you for making sure that the path to heaven is taken care of. Thank you for your word, which tells us about your power to know what happens in the future. And thank you for giving us forgiveness of sins and eternal life. Bless me and everybody at my house that we would always trust in you and your promises. Amen. Now let's join together in the prayer that our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now go out into the day blessed by the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and grant you his peace. Amen.